it is time to add some layout to our layout <laughs> that we're creating, uh, where we want to create this and make it a two column layout like we have here. And this could be used for three columns or four columns or anything you need. But uh, in this case, we have two pages and both of them need two column layouts in them. And if you're not following along with the course I've done, you just came across this as a general YouTube video. That's awesome. There are course files you can download below. Uh, but um, we're going to be using CSS Grid for this one. And I'm going to show everything you need to know to get a two column layout to work with Grid. But if you'd like a little bit of a deeper explanation in how it's working, this is actually part of a completely free course. And in the free course, there's a few uh, earlier lessons that just touch on some of the things we're going to be using with Grid in a little bit more detail. Like it introduces the different parts we're using before we actually implement them into this project. So again, 100% free, walks through creating this entire two page layout if it's something you'd be interested in. But if not, and you just wanna follow along with creating a two column layout, well, that's perfectly fine as well. So for this, let's take a look in our code and let's go to the other page first, actually. We'll jump on over to here. And we don't have that image we need, so we're gonna add that image in. So we have the what is bouldering, we have the two paragraphs, and then we need this image that's on the side right there. So to be able to do that, I'm gonna, what is bouldering? We have these two paragraphs that are right here. So the first thing I'm going to need to do to be able to do that, I need to find that and I have to go to the right index, uh, the right HTML page to be able to do that. And I'm gonna go and find the part that I want. So what is bouldering? And then I have these two paragraphs here. And the first thing we need is, well, let's add that image in here as well, actually. So we'll come here and we're gonna, so we have IMG, SRC is equal to, and then ALT is equal to. And then we can go into our images folder. From there, it would be my what is bouldering. Let's just make sure that's working. Then we can come on our ALT and say this is like a, uh, a man attempting a bouldering problem at an indoor gym. Now I need to make this a layout. So how do we get two columns? So the first thing is we need to use something to create the columns. And you might have come across a lot of tutorials on basic layouts that are saying that you should use Flexbox for this. I'm a very firm believer that for consistent equal columns that Grid is the better solution. But for either one of them, no matter what approach you're doing, you do need something that's going to create the layout. So I'm gonna come here and just make a div class and we can close that div there. We'll come with a name in a second, but I'm gonna take the closing div and I'm gonna put it over here. So what and then I'm just gonna fix my indentation. So I'm gonna select all that, push tab. And so I have this is what's going to be creating my two column layout. So for that, we could call it two columns. We'll go with that for now. Two columns or your two column layout. Be very clear with what we're doing. Now, if I save that, I just have a div with a class on here. It's not actually doing anything right now. So we don't have a layout that's coming in yet. We just have two column layout, that's it. So we wanna be able to do something with this. So we will have to come in and write some CSS to actually make that layout happen. But before we do that, we have to think about the pieces that are in here right now. Because right now we have four different elements that are inside of here. And if I really want this to be a two column layout, I need to have two direct children here. If I have th four direct children like I have now, that's generally going to create a four column layout, at least when we're keeping things very simple. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna make sure there's only two direct children. So I can come here and I can put a div. And I'm gonna take that closing div, and I'm gonna put it right here, select that, hit tab to fix my indentation. And now if I look at it, I have this div, two column layout, with this div right here and an image here. So there's only two direct children for this two column layout. This one doesn't have a class, and most of the time when you use divs, you're going to want a class on them. But in this case, this is what's creating two column layout. This is just acting as a way to hold all of the content there to create one of those columns, and then I have the image by itself over here. And if you'd prefer to wrap that image within a div as well, that would work completely fine. It wouldn't cause any issues, but we don't need to do it, so I'm not gonna do that right now. But let's save this, and bef again, really quickly, before we get to the CSS, thinking about the way you're structuring this is super important, because if you don't have the correct structure in your HTML, you're gonna be fighting with creating your layout, and it's gonna be a big headache. And this is whether you're using Grid or Flexbox to create your layouts. The structure is super important, and the way you organize your things here is very, very important. So we have my div coming first, then we have my image, and it's all within this two-column layout. Then we can jump over to my styles. I'm gonna go down a little bit. I have a wrapper, which is, layout related, so I'm gonna keep my class here uh, along with that. We'll do two column layout. And the first thing we're gonna do is change the display property and this, so we can do a display. And one of those is for grid, which is what enables us to have our control layouts. 
And this is changing not the element itself really, but it's changing how it, it, things work inside of that element. And when we first do that, you won't really see much of a change. The space, you might see a small tweak to spacing, but other than that, things will look very, very much the same when we use grid. To actually get columns, we have to use something and we're gonna use our grid template columns. And as the name implies, this is going to set up columns for our elements to live inside of. And the easiest possible thing you could do, because you could come in with like 400 pixels, 400 pixels, you could put the exact numbers you want. But when you have a layout that needs to work at different screen sizes and be squishy and flexible and all of that, the easiest thing to do, and the easiest way to use grid at the very beginning, always, is just to use the FR unit. So I'm gonna say one FR, one FR. And in doing that, I get two columns. This column is one FR, this column is one FR. It just means that they're both going to, they're both one fraction of the space or distributing the space equally, uh, basically amongst one another. So one fraction each, and that works perfectly. The only problem is they're really close together. They're basically stuck together. So there's one other property that we want with this, which is a gap. And we use a gap and I'm gonna come in with, I don't know, it's pretty big in my design, so I'll do 30 pixels, but you put whatever space you need in between them and that will give me my space. And I'm actually gonna come in with a much bigger number. And you can see there, I think that looks a little bit better. So I have this nice big space that's coming in between the text and my images. And at large sizes, that's working perfectly fine. And then as I get to these smaller sizes, it's squishing down and I'm always going to have two columns right here. And I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. It's a nice easy way to get two columns. And once we have this, that just means that anytime I need to use it, I'm able to. So if we come and take a look back at my layout, I have another two column layout over here. So we could use that same thing where we go back to my index and that was Y bouldering. And in this case, my image is first and then I have the text on the right side. So the order that we create this layout within our HTML is also very important. I want my image to be the first thing on the left, then the image is gonna come first and then my text is going to come second. So here within this section where I have my Y bouldering, all of my text, my bullet points, this link down at the bottom. And so the first thing we'll do inside this section is to come inside and we can add that image. So image SRC is equal to ALT is equal to always put meaningful alt text on your images. Uh, and on this SRC right here, we can go to my images folder. And I think we called this one Y bouldering. So if I hit save on there, I can take a look at my image. Uh, in this case, it's a you know, uh, a person climbing a large boulder outdoors with a blue sky in the background. There we go. And so with that in place, we need to think about what the structure is going to be. So once again, we can come here and say, we're gonna have a div class is equal to two column layout. And then I wanna take that closing div and go all the way to the end of my text. And then we can fix my indentation by selecting it all and pushing tab. And so all of this is living within that layout. But the problem if I did this is every one of these elements will want to belong to that. So actually let's go take a look at what would happen if I did that. So I'm gonna refresh. This goes in the first column because it's the first element. This is going in the second column because it's the second element. Then this paragraph goes, well, I'm gonna go into the first column because we're running out of room. So we go to the next column next and each piece will go through that and just make a new row for every one of them and it goes through. And it won't do it for each list item because it's every direct child. So here we have that full UL. The full UL is just getting its own space within the grid. I don't want that to happen. So I need to think, how am I gonna organize this? Well, I can come here and add a div. So we start our div there, go to the end of our text, close that div, select all of this for just our own visual look of it. So my image now is gonna be one column and then this direct child that is right there will be another column that has all of my content inside of it. We hit refresh and there we go. We get a nice two column layout coming in and it looks pretty good. And then as we shrink down, everything is adapting because our images adapt and our layout with the one FR on each side just means it's going to adapt on its own to the amount of space it has available and we'll have two equal columns all the time. And then one more time, we head on over to this page and in this area here, we wanna have two columns. So we'll just go through it all one more time there where let's go take a look at the layout. We have this div on one side, my list on the other side. So 
that would be this is one side and then all of this content here is on the other side. So we can come here, div class equals to column layout. So we have this div as our first column that will be right here. Then we have all the other content, including the list, but I don't want to include that image in it. So before we get to that image, I'm going to close the div, select everything uh, all the way up to here, hit tab because it's all nested inside of that two column layout. And we have this already was in a div, so I don't need to add another one around that. This is going to act as its own column the way it's already set up. If you added another div around it, it wouldn't cause any problems, but we don't need another div in there. So I'm not gonna add one just for the fun of it. So we have this div here. Again, if you ever make a layout and you get something weird happening that doesn't look the way you wanted it to, just go and two column layout, look at what the direct children are. Here we can say that, oh, I needed to wrap this. So I have my H3 and my list here all need to be wrapped together. Close that div, come back up, tab it all over so it's easy to visually see that we're nested inside of there. And then when I refresh over here, we see we're actually getting two columns.